10 plus guys today, so you can afford to pick up and put pressure on the ball. Navy with his first field goal. Kent Lenore inserted in the line and when the freshman connects with a triple. Great John Wooden. If you gotta coach those young players, that's gonna be tough to win ball games. With Smith steps into the 17-footer. Navy has its second field goal. This one from the sophomore. You can give me mine. I'm gonna give you yours too, my friend. Nice entry to Smith. Couldn't finish. Kelly on the follow-up. Still battling for the rebound. And Ward Smith finally converts for Navy. How aggressive early on in this ball game has Navy been in this first half? They've really struggled inside the arc. They've been very good at beyond the three-point line. Alter especially had to throw that one up with a jump clock down and down. Oh, oh, a prayer is answered. <laughs> Didn't I say he was a flat-out shooter for Ed DeCellis and this Navy midshipman? Wow him in a shooting competition with none other than old number 31. That's right. He gave me everything I could handle, though I still tested the young fella. Worth Smith with the up and D. Lehigh Bucknell at Bucknell on Wednesday. Huge Patriot League game. Stepping into a three from the wing. Phil Quigley Elmo got it for Navy. And speaking with Edgy Chellis, he needs to work on his defense, but his shooting is the best he's probably ever seen here at the academies just talk about how your time as an athlete here prepared you to be an officer well you know uh, chris is the best coach in, in the world uh as, as a youngster and uh i carry that forward every day and i i try to use it you know even not just coaching uh the regional final and before the game i always say a little prayer and i just say you know please god not maybe you know <laughs> don't let Navy, don't let Navy be the, be the team. Last year. Alter, quick trigger. High arching release. That's his third. Told you, flat out shooter. Watch number five can get hot with the best of them. Instant energy off the bench for the midshipmen. Offense, this team wants to get out and run. Batterini coming off the screen, knocks it down to end the drought. Look at Whoa. those guns. My goodness, we call, if Alter's nickname is Pookie, I'm calling, <laughs> I'm calling Batterini guns. My goodness, his arms are huge. Army to take the lead. Googly elbow, jacks up a three. Oh my goodness. This kid is a straight up shooter. Worth Smith. Oh my! Parking the range. They're coming alive. <laughs> the drought is over for the midshipmen. <laughs> They're starting to find their own, especially from downtown. Ellis goes in deep, too deep as it turns out, and that's a charge. Well, we've been wondering when the come tournament time. They are so tough to win on the road in conference. Yeah. We saw some big wins on the road, and here we're looking at another one as Navy trying to get it done here at Army. Ward Smith has scored five in a row for the Mids. And your favorite player is back on the floor, Chris. Pookie Wilson who just it took the charge. I'm going to stop. The way he's playing yeah. tonight, he's no longer Pookie. I agree. He may be an admiral now. <laughs> well, that's a lovable nickname, and he's endearing himself right now to the Naval Academy graduates around the globe. Pookie, 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 Pookie. I'm loving it. Ellis again driving along the baseline. What's more into a charge? And who else took it? The admiral. The admiral, too. Kevin Alter. Dunbar off the Smith screen. Pick and pop for three. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Worth Smith showing his worth. Great sibling rivalry of service academies, Army and Navy. First of two matchups. Wyatt from three. Oh. Then I said he should have. Edgy Chalice was looking. And I think they're going to take a look to see if this is a three-pointer by Brennan Wyatt. It's much better hearing your song set. <laughs> Of course, next month they meet again in Annapolis. They'll be playing for the coveted star. Missed three by Tone on the last shot of Army-Navy. First time around here in 2000.